George Clooney stayed here on his holiday. That's right, gorgeous George. My name is Nick Ferrand and these are my Italian one take property tours. Good morning and good afternoon and good evening to you all wherever you are in the world. <sighs> Today's rummage is 870 square meters of utter Chianti beauty. I am in Chianti and Grevi in Chianti is just over there, eight kilometers. We are equal distance between Siena and Florence. Probably about 40, 45 minutes away. And it is the, just the most private, secluded, 13th century fortress you have ever seen. And thank you for giving me this opportunity. Are you ready to see it? Let's go. Now the camera will adjust and there's going to be a lot of camera adjusting today because we are going inside um, and being a fortress, uh, the walls are like a meter thick. In some places they're more. Um, so look at the reflection. <laughs> I haven't even got inside the house yet. Right, are you ready? Okay, don't fall off your perch. Look at that. Now, immediately, I am just going to pan the camera up. And to be honest with you, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm completely lost for words because this must be one of the most stunningly beautiful entrances that I've seen and the furniture is amazing and it just says everything, absolutely, <laughs> and I use that a lot in my last video, absolutely everything that Chianti has to offer. I mean, initially, can you see? That would have been another arch. Now, as I mentioned, it was a 13th century fortress and over you know, the last centuries, it's been modified and, you know, changed, but things that uh, will remain the same, and we are going to come into this kitchen, is this just amazing floor. Oh, in fact, I'm just gonna give it a little rub, actually. Oh, it is absolutely, I will try to stop saying that word today, absolutely. <laughs> Incredible. Now, look at this. Let me pan up here. What a ceiling. Oh, it's got to be 15 feet high. And the kitchen is just gorgeous. And it's a huge square room. And it just has an amazing array of antiques and just yumminess. Total yumminess. Oh, right. It has double doors which lead out into uh, a beautiful terrace. But let's just pop into here, first of all, because this was uh, the original tower room and it has a full size snooker table. Uh, what I want to show you is the stonework. Look at the stonework. Oh, now you see that hole there. That originally in the 13th century would have had a ladder. And that would have been the only way up to the next level. Again, let's pop over here to have a look at this. Look at the stonework. You know, 800 years old. It's just the most amazing thing ever. It's just absolutely, well, I mean, what can we say? I mean, it just takes your breath away. Charming. Yep, there's going to be a lot of that going on today, that's for sure. Wow, we. Incredible. Right, let's get back into the kitchen. And then I'm gonna show you the dining room. 
So you've got your alfresco spaces, which I'm going to show you later. Um, but I do want to show you, and I hope I can show you. It's very dark today, but look at that hinge. It's just, oh, it's just fantastic. Wow. Okay. Dining room. <laughs> Have you seen enough? Wow. Beautiful fireplace. Super duper 15 foot high ceilings. Absolutely incredible original flooring. Absolutely incredible terracotta tiles on the ceiling. Beautiful beams. Just stunning. Stunning. Right, let's pop out of that door. Now I've got to show you this. You see the relief on this door? You see here? Okay, can you see that's mirrored in the stonework? I'm gonna show you from the other side if I can get out. But um, let's pull back into this hallway. I'm gonna close the door slowly and then pan round. What an entrance hall this is, really. Now look. I just, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Right, popping back along from uh, the way that we came in, to the right of me, there's the living room and that's where we're going to go next. Now you come through this little hallway and I have a small cloakroom on the right and a sink and drinks area on the left. Now, let's get back over here. I'm gonna pull back and show you this. Now I might've mentioned on uh, a number of my videos uh, in Tuscany, it's very uh, common for them to paint the ceilings and they have painted the ceiling here. And I actually think that this is, uh, well, I don't think I know, this is a later addition on the wood, but this room is utterly <laughs> charming. I don't know what else to say about it. It's just beautiful. Beautiful. Lovely paintings everywhere. That's the little drinks thing I said. You've got your glasses. Right, so that is the ground floor level. Now there's quite a lot of light differentiation between the outside, which is a beautiful spring day, and the inside, so you're going to get a bit of flare. Now we are going up. Now when I walked around the house, first of all, I saw this little statue, and that's a little bust of Dante. Yeah, love it. Right, so you've got, as you come up, three or four steps and you go into a single room and I wonder if I can get some lights on here. No, I can't, it's quite dark. But it's a single bedroom and it has its own bathroom en suite. And it has a bath and a toilet, but no B-Day. Yeah, I apologize, there's not a lot of light in there, but uh, you know, I will do my very best. And then you come up these stairs. And when I was in the kitchen, 
All I could smell was wax, you know, beautiful wax. You see on the stairs, you see, you think it's dirty at the top, but it's not. It's actually how you know, the, the terracotta flooring has been waxed. And uh, then the uh, wax has gone onto the stairs. And I really like that. I think that's great. Now, look at this room. You come up into a huge hallway, hallway, oh. landing area, I should say. And we pop into here, you come in, you've got bedroom one, no, bedroom two, I'm sorry. Now, all the windows have fly screens, so I'm not going to uh, fight trying to open those on my one take tour. What we're going to do is that we're going to have a look at those or have a look at the view when we get outside. All the bedrooms have air conditioning. They all have the original terracotta flooring. Got a nice desk area. It has Wi-Fi. All right, so bedroom three. Again, as I mentioned, it's been painted and it does throw quite a lot of light in here. Air conditioning. Really lovely. And then you have a bathroom and a shower. So we are three bedrooms in and we cross the hallway and we go into this phenomenal room. And look at that. You're going to get some flare from the windows. I'm going to go to the other side so it might not be that flary, but oh, I can understand why here. Uh, Gorgeous George wants to stay here. Here I Chic personified. It's just wonderful. Just a wonderful house in Chianti. Absolutely gorgeous taste. Beautiful fireplace. Wow. Now I've come this way. I was going to go the other way, but now I'm here. I'm going to do this. Here is the master bedroom suite. Air conditioning. Painted terracotta tiling. Very bright. Absolutely gorgeous. And then if you come down here, you've got Loads of closets on the left hand side. Another closet which is in front of me. A lovely big bedroom with views overlooking the Tuscan countryside. Shower, a bath with another shower unit, a toilet, and a bidet. Ooh. French doors to the left of me. It goes out onto a terrace. And then we come back into this phenomenal second reception room. Lovely big book on uh, Caravaggio, who I love. And then coming down this hallway, you have Lots of closets. Bedroom five. Another built-in closets. Areas to sit. Oh, that's very interesting. 
Oh, maybe that would have been just a door on here or something just on there. Yeah. Air conditioning. Now these two bedrooms share a bathroom and they'd just be perfect for four children. Or teenagers. That only really need an internet connection nowadays. Okay. I've got another balcony to the right. Again, beautiful high ceilings. Lovely big room. And again, walking through to the ceiling heights a little low. You might have to stoop a little to get in, but you've got a shower, double sink, a toilet. No BD in this room. Ah, amazing. Totally amazing. Uh, just the floors on their own are... You see if I come down here as we come through how they are undulating over the years. Well, if walls had ears, look at that door. Does it pull out? Oh, it's latched. Oh, it's just lovely. Right, the main house. Yep. I'm going to go out the other end of the front corridor because um, there's another door which is leading out into the garden area. And then I'm going to show you this amazing swimming pool um, and get an idea of what we're doing. Uh, there is a vineyard. Uh, about three hectares, and oh, that's quite interesting. Look at that, New York <laughs> and the Brooklyn Bridge, 1870. Hmm, things have changed a little bit since then. Right, let's get out here. The camera will adjust. A little windy outside, but I'm just gonna pull across. And now you're going to get an idea why Chianti is regarded as one of the most spectacular areas of the world. And it really is. It is absolutely, absolutely incredible. I can just hear the rustling of the leaves. I mean, you are so private here. Right, let's pop down and have a look at this uh, beautiful pool. Now, the swimming pool has been built in stone and uh, it's the first pool which I've seen for ooh, donkey's years, which has been built in stone. It really is a beautiful pathway down. Now they are filling up the pool, they've changed the water. It's not at the right level at the moment. It's got the robot in. Now, 11 hectares in total. Um, the grapes here are Sangiovese and uh, they're producing about seven to 8,000 uh, bottles a year. You could up the process if you wanted to, or you could just make your own, you know, selective wine and maybe sell the rest of the grapes. It's being rented at the moment. I'm gonna go and show you the cantina because I think it would be very interesting for you to see. And, you know, what a, what a swimming pool. <laughs> you just <laughs> run into it, run into it. But look, if I pull up here, look at these beautiful pine trees, which are all around. Ah, what a picture. Beautiful mature planting everywhere. It's just an utterly stunning house. Stunning house. Now I've come today because, uh, and they, uh, people are around just getting ready because they have guests arriving tomorrow. Um, and it's fully booked. 
absolutely fully booked. So if you wanted to see this property for yourself, you will probably need to make an appointment and come at a weekend and maybe we can show you uh, on the changeover. Right, private tennis court. Incredible. Beautifully surrounded by trees. Incredibly private. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Now, there are three other apartments. Uh, one where the owner comes um, and stays if he comes for the weekend. Uh, another one where they have a full-time caretaker and a smaller apartment for, you know, extra people where and if they want to come. I can hear the wind rustling. What an entrance. Oh, I'm just going to show you this as well. Can you see the stonework over the window? Fantastic. Alarmed. CCTV. Let's just try to walk around. Now, to the left of me is where the reception room was. We are going to take this path. Beautiful Italian garden. Yeah, I'm sorry if we're going to get a bit of wind now. Now, for privacy, I'm, I'm not going to go into uh, the caretaker's house, but the caretaker's house is just here. Here you've got a one bedroom apartment and this is the owner's house uh, when he comes you know even in the winter you don't want to open up the big house if it's closed and i love the fact that they've got a chandelier uh, outside i think that's really lovely and i might copy that I think it's a good idea right well, you can see that they're working on uh, getting the house prepared we're going to walk along these beautiful cypress trees and I think I'm going to show you, well, no, I think I am going to show you the cantinas. Uh, electric gates when you come in and you are literally just surrounded by vineyards and forest. As I mentioned to you, this is being rented at the moment. Mm. I love that smell. I really do. Yep. Gonna get a lot of echo in here. This is where it all happens. Now, these barrels, or vats, I should say, uh, at one stage uh, used to be, uh, well, obviously in wood, but then they changed them to concrete, and now they've gone to stainless steel. And you can see the barrels of wine, which are there, slowly getting better. What does that say? 2016. Fantastic. Look, here is a bigger wooden barrel. And uh, depending of the, uh, what the barrel is made of, it's going to uh, affect the taste of the wine. Right, I just cut that a little bit because I just thought it was just too far for us uh, to travel up. But now I'm back um, on the terrace to the door to the left of me is the kitchen area. 
and uh, I'm just going to come down here. <laughs> oh. It's it's totally amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm just going to put the camera just there for a second. Right. Whew. Thank you for coming on this tour with me. You want to know the price, don't you? 3.9 million euros. Worth every penny. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. If you want a house in Chianti, you want to be private, you just, you, you want to maybe create your own wine. You've got 300 olive trees. You've got uh, Florence, which is 40 minutes away. Siena, 40 minutes away. Um, Grevi and Chianti, eight kilometers away. I don't know how long, long that's going to take you on a dusty road, but um, you know, it can't be more than 10 minutes away. And it just really is one of the best houses that I've had the privilege uh, to shoot. Right. My name is Nick Ferrand and these are my Italian one take property tours. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, <laughs> I know I do this every week, but push all the buttons and that would help me so I can help you. Again, thank you so much and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.